That's and it. going to the brownies. Uh, I've gone helping them cooking, you know, the different things, bake stones on St David's Day. And um, uh, quite a lot of different things we've done with them. And uh, as I say, then I went as dressed up as a queen. <laughs> And I went a second time as a good. Why did I do that? Must have been when it was a some special thing, and uh, um, she was represented it in the brownies. You know that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. So is that brownie group in Cardiff? Yes. Yes. Yeah. In Rummy. Yes. Oh, yeah, Rummy, yes, yes, yes. 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 Because my that's where my daughter lives. Yeah. And, uh, yes. How long have you lived in Cardiff? Me, well, I lived. Do you know Wichiches? Yeah. Well, I lived in Wichich until I was twenty-one, oh, wow. and then I got married, and I came down to Adamsdown then, six forty-nine, no fifty, because we had to stay for a year with my mum, and we, I came down nineteen fifty, so that, uh, so that's fifty, sixty, sixty, yeah. six years, isn't it? Yeah, I've been, I've been actually in Adamsdown. Wow. Yes. That, um, but that is so different to what it was, you know. I, I was the only young person living in the street then. They were all elderly people and with big fam families. So, and, um, it, but it's, um, I, I've stayed there. I don't know why I've stayed there, really, because I'm on my own, you know. And it's too big a house for me, really. But uh, I think, oh, at least I know my neighbours are. And, and I know I could go to them if I needed anything, you know. It's um, yeah. So, as I say, there isn't isn't a, isn't a lot I can really. I mean, we used to have the children then. If they had a party, we give them a party in the nursery, and you know, I made um, one cake was like a princess castle, and and uh, different things like that for them. But um. It, it, it was a, n a n nice atmosphere, you know, it's a, fr a very, very friendly place it was. So this nursery, was that in Adamstown? Yes, well? um, yeah. do you know Shadika, you know the, the infirmary? Mm. The infirmary is that side of the road and there's a school outside oh, okay. in there, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. It's, uh, and, um, but then they left there then, the, the girls of course went to high school, so. Yeah. But, um, That's quite a long time ago then, yeah. 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 Uh, and then I started looking after my third granddaughter then, so I thought, well, I, that's enough now. <laughs> so what motivated you to volunteer? Well, I went there one day and the nursery nurse was there and she was quite vexed, you know, and I said, uh, you're not on your own, are you, Anne? And she said, yeah, she said, um, Justine has had an accident, who was the nursery teacher. But Anne was a nursery nurse, and uh, I said, "Well, if you want a hand, I said I'll, I can give you a hand any time." So, because my grandchildren, who I looked after, was in the nursery, you see, and so she says, "Are you sure?" And I said, "Yes." Well, I just started from then. Then I said, "I'll stay now if you want me to." And th then the teachers used to come over for a lunch. You know that um, it was really. Really friendly there, uh, yes. They're, um, and as I said, we used to make the um, pizzas with the children, and they they used to decorate it all. But, um, and we used to, I used to make things earlier, and, so, and the staff used to have them for their break, or they paid for theirs, so it helped pay for the food. But we raised quite a bit of money, really. That. Uh, doing that, you know, we bought all new nets for all the, we didn't have blinds there then, and bought all new nets and that for them, you know, out of the money. That's, um, but uh, I don't know what, I don't know who's there now, if there's, because of course I'm not involved with it now, the children, you know, are not near there. It's, um, yeah, so, but it was a, it was a very nice time. But, um, and and I'd lost my husband just a year previous, so it was like a new lease of life for me, you know, having something else to do. Yeah. But, uh, 
what do you feel like you've personally gained from volunteering? Well, I, 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 I think for me it was it was company and and helping, and and and, and it it was appreciated, you know that um, and. Uh, as I say, it was like going from home to home, really. That, um, and of course, I knew my grandchildren were safe because they were in the school, you know. And I was, I'd wait then until it was time for them to come home, and then they'd come home w with me. That uh, we used to go on, used to go on the trips with them, and they went to the c caves and uh, St Pagan's Castle, uh, and I used to go swimming with them because. Uh, it, it was a man that went swimming, uh, and they, they didn't have anybody to volunteer, so uh, like a woman for the girls in the changing room and that. And uh, so I used to go and do that with them. It's, um, I suppose really I could have been paid for it, <laughs> but I, I wasn't. I didn't, I didn't need to be paid for it, but uh, I used to do all the things that they did. But, um, Yes, it was very nice. So I can't think of anything else. I mean, now all the children they pass they'll pass my window because I live in my front room, and they'll wave, knock the window and wave like that, and they'll knock the door and ask if I want any shopping. And and it's strange because well, one of the grandmothers now she comes here in the afternoon always calls me Mrs. Hopkins. I mean, yet her ch grandchildren call me Gwyn. <laughs> that is strange. <laughs> it's, uh, but, um, and she still calls me Mrs. Hopkins, and, she, and she's 60 odd. <laughs> so, so, when did you stop volunteering? When did I stop? Oh, how old were they? Well, when they. Beth was. must have been about. Beth is, eight, is 16 now, so. Must have been about sixteen years ago, just after that. Um, when she was born, I thought, well, it was a bit too much taken, and because I used to take the one baby in with me for some time, you know, that uh, and uh, she'd be in the in the nursery with us and the pram. It's, um, but I, I think really some of the schools could, it, it you know, I think. They they could get more involved in things, uh, you know, uh, making it more like home to home for some of them. But then, of course, you don't know the regulations alter so much now, don't they? You know, it's, um, you. Uh, I can remember my grandson went there, and we'd had all alphabet all around my living room, and I'd always call uh, K was for Keith. That was his father, and Kelly was his cousin, and what was the other? And Jay was for Jane, his mum, and for him, Jamie. Of course, when they were reading out the alphabet, Miss Lawrence, and she said, uh, K, is for, K is for Kite, and he said, No, J uh, K is for Keith, for no. Keith. And she'd say, No, y yes, yes. And I said to him, Yeah, I'm sorry, Anne, but that's the way I taught him. And But he still, it, 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 it's, she'd be had saying it, and he'd be saying it, he'd be moving his lips, but not saying it. Um, no, no, Keith, no, Keith. <laughs> but, uh, but it's, um, as I say, there's not a lot I can tell you. That's,